Hey everyone, my name's Goldfire Prime, and today is a review on the Transformers Generations Jetfire. So, here is the box, showing some nice artwork of Jetfire, and of course the toy that comes aside. Transforms in 8 steps, ages 6 and up. And the back, of course, shows the toy inside, how it transforms in 8 steps, and even the instructions. So, without further ado, let's get Jetfire opened up and have a closer look. Alright everyone, so we start in his jet mode, and he has pretty good jet mode. It really looks like G1 Jetfire, which I really like. I like how it looks a lot like his G1 counterpart, and not that... Uh, Weird one from Revenge of the Fallen. I, I didn't like how in Revenge of the Fallen they made him into like some old man that's all falling apart every two seconds. And how they made like a fart joke with his parachutes. Didn't like that. This one's way better. And he does have little Autobot symbols on each of his wings. And he has a painted windshield. And a painted red nose cone since underneath uh, the red paint is white plastic, I believe. And he does have little landing gear that could be retracted up. He has two null ray cannons. And, of course, in the back has thrusters. And, yeah, it's pretty much... All there is to his jet mode. And for comparison, well, all I have right now is a Paw Patrol Marshall Plessy. Yeah. By the way, I, I forgot to mention that while my channel was gone, I... Noticed that there was a huge craze in Paw Patrol since the new movie came out in August. So, I just went ahead and got a Marshall plushie just cause. So, here he is next to Marshall and yeah. I know that's pretty random but hey. So, anywho to transform him. First thing you want to do is you want to tap his arms and you fold him up. Flip this down, and then, oops, make sure you get the hinge that's in his arm instead of, like, the hinge that is used for transformation. Alright, do the same for the other arm. And tab it in, straighten it out, get it all situated, and you fold... Down his fins, fold down his feet, and fold this entire back section up, and make sure it's tabbed into place. And right here, you get a bit of options in the angle you want, because there's little uh, peg holes, and how there's a little tiny like um, five millimeter peg inside here, right here. And it kind of locks into place, so I prefer to have it all the way in. So that's what we're going to do. Split his legs. And then fold this down. And while you do that, you fold down the nose cone. Fold it all the way down. And then you bring up his antennas like so. And there you go. Here's Jetfire in his robot mode. And I really like it. I think it's really cool. Like I said, I love how they went with the G1 uh, aesthetic, which is really nice. I mean, a lot of Transformers now are doing that, which is really cool. And yeah, really nice. 
Raw mode, definitely G1 Jetfire. So, head sculpt. He has a painted silver faceplate, a painted blue visor, and of course his antennas. And, of course, the cockpit becomes his chest, which doesn't really make sense. I, I always wondered how the Decepticon ever, like, tried to punch him in there and then it'll, like, break. And it will reveal his spark and, like, a Decepticon could, could just rip it out and their Jetfire is dead. Hopefully that never happens to poor Jetfire. And I do kind of wish that there was, like, a bit more paint on this guy. It would have been a bit better, but... Yeah, they just... Kind of a bit lazy. And also, one thing I don't like is how... His arms are so hollow. Like, look at that. Look at this. At least in the legs, they're on the side, so... You can't really see it. But on the arms, it's so distracting. You could see it when you look at him in the back. Which I don't like. I don't like that at all. So, for articulation, he has a mushroom hinge on his arm. Ratchet on the shoulder, so you go in and out. Hinge in the elbow. Ratchet swivel on a leg. Ratchet uh, hinge that goes up and down. And I guess his ankle could go up and down too. And he does have a head swivel. And I guess his uh, antennas can kind of count like that. I guess it's a bit of articulation. And the wings flutter up and down. Yeah. And, of course, for accessories, he does have his two null ray cannons that are molded in red plastic. And they don't really do much. They're just accessories. And for size comparison, here he is next to Transformers Animated Snarl. Or slug. Yeah, I forgot to mention that this guy, they keep on changing his name like a bajillion times, so I'm just gonna call him slug. And yeah, he's definitely way taller than him since this guy is pretty, pretty small, even compared to Bumblebee and other Transformers around his size. And also, again, here we go with Marshall Plushy. Oops. Yeah. And Marshall is a bit taller than him. When you don't count his wings, of course. So, yeah, that's about it for size comparison. And now we get to my final thoughts about this figure. And I think these pretty cool now of course he does have like a couple of problems like the hollowness in his arms and a lack of paint but the paint he's lacking from of course you could always just uh get a sharpie and do stuff with this guy yourself to make him look better but yeah i i recommend him he's pretty cool and like I said, definitely love the G1 look. So, that's about it for this video. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss on any of my new videos. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.